Hey everybody, this is the Mage of Ancients, and I'm back with another weekly vlog. Before we get started, I do want to say thank you to all my subscribers, both old and new. If you guys have just subscribed to this channel, I want to say welcome to this channel. Um, I hope to make some really great content, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! content for this channel and for you guys. Now, I also want to ask you guys if you haven't so already, be sure to like this video if you enjoy videos like this. Also, comment below with what other Yu-Gi-Oh! videos you guys would like me to uh, release and to record for you guys. And of course, for all the other people who have not yet subscribed to this channel, be sure to do that right now. And while you're at it, be sure to ring the notification bell so you stay updated on my latest Yu-Gi-Oh! uploads. But let's not waste any more time, let's get on to today's topic. The first new Valkyrie card that's coming out this year has just been uh, leaked uh, in the Savage Strike set which is coming out in a couple of weeks. I, actually, it's coming out in the first day of February. So I was deciding on which uh, card, I, which card or archetype I wanted to talk about that's coming out in Savage Strike. And I figured that since I have a kind of a soft spot for the Valkyries, I figured that I want to talk about Valkyrie Sexta. This is the first new Valkyrie card we're getting this year. It's actually a pretty good card if you ask me. I actually recorded a video before this, but I never got around to actually editing it, that talks about uh, what Valkyries need in order to be a good archetype. And I think this is already a good step in the right direction. So, in case you guys don't know, Valkyrie Sexta is a level 1 light fairy with 0 attack and 2000 defense, and it has two really cool effects. The first effect, the first effect reads, if this card is special summoned, then you can special summon a different Valkyrie monster from your deck. And it also has a second effect where it reads, during your main phase, you can send the top two cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Like I said, pretty cool effects. So taking a look at this card, Valkyrie Sexta is meant to work in tandem with the, with the Goddess Continuous spells. But for the most part, this card is meant to work in tandem with Goddess, Goddess Gold's Oracle. So you can restack the top three cards of your opponent's deck. And if you happen to find two cards that are very crucial to your opponent's strategies, then you can put those two cards on top summon your sexta, and then you can send those two cards from your opponent's deck to the graveyard. One example that I could come up with right now is that if your opponent happens to play the Brilliant Fusion Engine and you find Garnet or any of their Gem Knight monsters on the top of their deck, then you can use Sexta's effect to send those Gem Knight monsters from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard, preventing them from uh, pretty much using the Brilliant Fusion Engine at all. So you could say that Valkyrie Sexta is pretty much the Shadow Mist of the Valkyrie archetype. Shadow Mist lets you add Mask Change with if it's ever special summoned. And in the same way, Sexta lets you special summon a different Valkyrie monster for your deck. I also said in the video that I recorded before this that Valkyries need to be more consistent in order to be a good archetype, whether it be by search power or by draw power. So supposedly, what you could do is that you could use Valhalla Hall of the Fallen or Photon Lead or even Ride of the Valkyries to special summon your Valkyrie Sexta from your hand, and then you could use Sexta's effect to special summon your Valkyrie Dritta from your deck, and then you could use Dritta's effect to search for another Valkyrie card from there. Up to this point, Valkyrie Dritta was the only way for us to search for other Valkyrie cards. But now that we have Valkyrie Sexta, the Valkyrie archetype is a bit more consistent. So now that we can special summon Valkyrie monsters from our hand and our deck, I'm hoping that we can also see a card that lets us special summon Valkyrie monsters from our graveyards. Also, sure, we do have a couple of Valkyrie cards that gain attack points depending on the situation, but I really hope that Konami releases a new Valkyrie card that lets uh, the monsters gain attack points so that they can really go in for that supposed OTK with the Mischief of the Time Goddess. I honestly hope that this is not the only Valkyrie card that we're going to get in Savage Strike. I know we're going to get some more in Dark Neo Storm, but I'm just hoping that Savage Strike does not disappoint when it comes to the Valkyrie archetype. But that's it for this weekly vlog. What do you guys think about Valkyrie Sexta? What other Valkyrie cards would you like to see in Savage Strike and Dark Neo Storm? Leave those suggestions down in the comments, and I just might feature them in my next weekly vlog. Or in my next video, depending on uh, which comes first. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to help support the channel, then be sure to hit that like button and comment below with what other Yu-Gi-Oh! videos you guys would like to see. And of course, subscribe and ring the bell so you stay updated on my latest Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and I hope to see you again.